Hey, this is Angelo, owner of AppealUnfairPropertyTax.com, where you never pay a percentage to fight your Cook County property taxes. Uh, single family homes all the way up to six unit buildings. Uh, we've got little houses paying five, six hundred a year. We've got, you know, these Goliath mansions paying several hundred thousand a year. And we love everybody in between. Um, the company is five stars everywhere, and it's the only company out of 1,100 helping Cook County homeowners that is five stars everywhere. You got a guy? Your guy's not five stars everywhere. He might be five stars one place, but he's not five stars everywhere. We're five stars Facebook, five stars on Google, five stars on Yelp, and we have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. So we'd love to check your house free of charge. Let's get to the subject matter at hand. Um, something I've been warning particularly Chicago owners about for a while, it has begun the Cook County Assessor's Office Triennial Reassessment. Even if you don't live in Chicago, you want to watch this video, especially if you don't know what a triennial reassessment is. Uh, the triennial reassessment means the Cook County Assessor's Office gets to wipe out your, prop your current property tax value and slap it with a new one. That's going to stick three years unless you fight it within 30 days. Okay, so um, the first Chicago area has been hit. Not all of Chicago, just the first area. And I'm about to show you which one that is. Um, it's just crazy. And then we're going to tool around the neighborhood a little bit here in um, Jefferson, uh, I'm sorry, in Rogers Park. Um, the first winner, 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 chicken dinner, Rogers Park, got whacked on the 15th of June, my birthday. <clears throat> Go figure. Uh, so uh, it actually had a date a week earlier, and then it said delayed, and there was like an error. And um, how it works with us, uh, if you're a customer, you already know, you pay us to alert you when your appeal window hits. All the others say to be determined. Maybe they open west tomorrow. Maybe they open in a month. Jefferson, huge. It's all homes western to Cumberland. They're second. Or they're going to be third on the list. Um, they could open tomorrow. They could open in two months. If you think, oh, I'll call back in a month or I'll try to watch this, and you come back a month later, you could have missed it, and then you're stuck with that huge increase. So uh, we alert you when it opens. We arm you with everything you need. We give you an evidence file created by our quarter million dollar database, which we spend about $20,000 a year maintaining. It is connected to the county um, in real time and it finds the best comparable properties for you that warrant the best possible reduction um, in a matter of seconds. And that was actually the tool that let me convert to my flat fee. A lot of my competition is just research by hand. That takes 15 to 20 minutes per house. And um, they only help you the first year. What happens is each year you got two agencies, the assessor, usually January to June, and then another agency, the Board of Review. You'll see them up on the top right um, over here, Board of Review. This year, the assessor opened five months late. They opened in May, which means the board's going to have to open later. But um, between them two, we have a, uh, between the two of them, you have a 95% success rate. How it works with us is we email you an evidence file and you upload it. We usually email that within three days. Now we hold them a week because of bad data. A couple times the county's retracted their data file or said they had an error. And I found some bad data in Rogers Park. Um, you're going to see it with your own eyes here in just a minute. So let's jump into it. Um, but yeah, usually you got at least three weeks to upload it. Even if we hold it a week, you'll, you'll still have three weeks to upload it. Um, and it's uh, once you submit it, it's 60 to 90 days for a decision. When that agency comes out, they have to certify all the winners and losers. And at this point in time, three or month, four months from now, hundreds of other homes got their decision letters. And there's lower homes than our database can see today. And your potential goes up and we keep chasing and your taxes, you keep fighting them down and you get lower and lower. The first year of the cycle, the one thing I want to warn you guys right from the go is this first year, if you're signing up with anybody, me, or if you sign a contract, or if you did sign a contract, don't worry, you can break it if your appeal window is not open yet. Um, it's really easy to do. We have a video, dump your lawyer, go check that out. I'll show you where it's at in a minute. But um, uh, the job is to soften the increase, not to lower dollars. All the flyers they mail mislead homeowners, like only pay when you go down. And the homeowner thinks, well, I've been paying five grand the last three years. And I'm only going to pay these guys if my five grand goes down. What you don't know is you're no longer five grand. Maybe you're seven grand now, okay? If they lower it back to five, they've saved you $2,000. Nothing changes for you, but they're going to take 30 to 50% of $2,000, okay? It's in, their con in the contracts. There's no mention of dollars. It's assessed value. So here we go. You're going to learn all about it real quick. So let's jump into the neighborhood, Rogers Park. So when an area gets hit, I like to hop on the assessor's website and you're gonna to wanna to hop on here. It's cookcountyassessor.com. And not to undermine you, but it's A-S-S-E-S-S-O-R. -S 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 a lot of people spell it E-R and they end up somewhere else. 
they end up on our website because I bought that domain. <laughs> um, anyways, cookcountyassessor.com, and you're going to go over to search, and you're going to uh, click search by address. Uh, by the way, if you wanted to see the dates, um, you click appeals, and the first choice down is calendar dates and deadlines. This group up here is Chicago. It's separated from the others because this is the, the group getting whacked this year with the ugly stick, okay? The others down here, there's several open. Um, also, Palatine and Schaumburg just opened a couple days ago. Um, we're holding again on our appeal packages because we want to make sure the data is good. And um, there's more coming. All these are coming, all right? So uh, anyways, back to Rogers Park. Um, so I get a random house in Rogers Park, and you'll notice up here in the URL, Oh, to get to your house, sorry, I'm jumping around. You search by address or search by PIN number if you have your tax bill nearby. When you get to your house, you're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna see a bunch of your information or your property PIN number address. I'm on Birchwood. And what I do is I take a look at the assessed value and then I just jump up and down a PIN number. I wanna see what happened to my immediate neighbors, right? Or whatever. So this PIN number ends in four zero when I went to three nine, three eight, three seven, and you're not gonna believe the stuff I seen. Most homes got at least 50,000 minimum, and this neighborhood got 100,000. Did real value go up 100,000? Uh, let me show you with your own eyes. When you get to your house, you're gonna click on assess valuation and it will expand. Here you go, 310,000, now up to 400,000, okay? And this 400,000 just landed here a day ago, okay? So um, two days ago, we're on the 17th now, but um, what does it mean in dollars? Now, the county mails out a letter called a Notice of Proposed Assessed Value. The problem is most people don't see it. Um, and even those who do, they don't know what it means. There's no mention of tax dollars on it. It's values. To fight your taxes, you fight the value on the bill. You actually fight the assessed value. And then that lowers the taxes, the end result. And that's what we do for you. So what is assessed value? Uh, total assessed value, you'll notice, is just 10% of the number right above, the market value. So if you take off the zero, it's the same number right here. Take off the zero over here, and it's the same number down here, all right? So what we do to calculate this in the dollars is we use a calculator, and we go to our website and throw it into our increase calculator. So this one, we take the higher, the new AV of 40,000, and we subtract the lower total assessed value of 31,063. Enter, 8,937, okay? Remember that number. Now, while you're on your house, up here again in the navigation, you'll see your PIN numbers at the end. If you click a little behind it, two clicks, it will highlight just your PIN number, and then you can right-click and do Copy or Control-C. I like to educate. And then you're going to head to our website, okay? AppealUnfairPropertyTax.com. Again, it's AppealUnfairPropertyTax.com, right there. Bang, boom, I got, I got a camera reversing my hand, so it's, it's like confusing when I'm pointing to stuff. Appealunfairpropertytax.com, and you're gonna mouse over more, and then you're gonna scroll down to, uh, cool videos here, you know, get wiser, don't worry about unfinished basement, none of that crap matters. Um, video testimonials, happy customers, dump the lawyer video, family videos, Angelo's YouTube, uh, the, the, our YouTube channel. Anyways, I want to calculate my increase savings. Notice we also have a win savings. When you get a win letter, you can calculate it, what it means in dollars. So let's go to calculate my increase. Scroll down here, and in the first box, you're gonna right click and paste in the PIN number. And then the number from the calculator in the other box, 8937. And this is what it's gonna mean in dollars to this home. There you go. $1,795. Now, if I'm a homeowner, and especially if my taxes are in the mortgage, what I want to do next is bring the calculator back up and go $1,795 divided by 12 months, because that's what the bank's going to do. $150 a month. Now, it's not going to happen in 21. It, it's happening. It's official on the system. If you don't fight it, you're married to it. It hits a bill. The bills come a year late in July of 22. They pay it in July, and then they skyrocket the mortgage 30 to 60 days later, August or September of 22. You can start budgeting for it now because you've seen this video, and I hope that you'll share it for that same very reason. Um, so again, the tax bills come out late for two reasons. Start saving because they warn you. Again, most homeowners don't see the warning. 
the warning letter goes to the mortgage company. If the taxes are in the mortgage, they shoot a three pointer with it. They don't care because they're just going to raise your mortgage again when it hits um, or start fighting. And that's what we encourage you to do. You got those two agencies, the assessor and the border review. Okay. Assessor comes down the left side. The border review comes down the right side four to six months later. So um, do nothing. You get nothing. So while I was on this house, um, I was like, wow, you know, okay, that's, that's huge. So I just went down a pin number. I went to um, 038 or 039. Now I'm on uh, 2943 Birchwood. Okay. Click the assess value. Check this out. 411 to 510. Almost 100,000 even. Okay. In, did this house go up $100,000 in three years? I don't think so. You know, crazy. So kept going. Uh, 038, the pin number is changing up here. I don't know if you, know, you can see it or not, but um, you'll see it right here too. 038, now we're on Francisco, 7434 Francisco. Okay. Oh, this house I remember because it's red and it's, it's a little bigger, but look what they did to this guy. And this is also a senior citizen. And I'm going to show you how I know that in a little bit. Look at this, 375 to 570, just shy of $200,000. Did this house go up $200,000 in three years? Does any house go up $200,000 in three years? Not, not in this neighborhood. Um, so now that really sparked my curiosity. I keep going. 037. Now we're on Fargo. Fargo is a street you want to live on, but not in this house. Um, 311 to 420, 110,000 now. Okay, now we've crossed the 100,000 mark. And I keep going. This is where I think it gets interesting. 2908 Fargo. This is the house you want to live in. Let me show you why. 307 down to 280. All right, a drop. Wow. But then I noticed they also went back in time. 2014 values are showing up in 2015. Bad data. So uh, this is a huge, huge system. Um, billions of dollars go through their hands and it's taxes and you think it would be on the money. I'm sorry, folks, but the system is riddled with errors and it's exactly why we're in business. Again, appeal unfairpropertytax.com. You should let us check your house. Um, you know, worst case, this goes on a while. How long will it be before they catch this? And, and then uh, they can come back. You know, when they correct a mistake, they can go back on you and, hey, we, you, know, you owe this much and, and you got to cough it up all at once. So I kept going. I went one more house, 035, um, another house to live in, 2908. Um, same thing here. It dropped and it shows uh, 14 to 15. I kept a couple more went down and, and it went back to 2021 20, like most homes should be. But uh, that just goes to show you it's, it's, it's crazy. And again, that's exactly why we're in business. So um, what I did, um, now you know how to calculate the AV into dollars. Um, I asked it if uh, that's all you want to know. Go ahead and stop here, but please do post it. Nextdoor.com is a great website where you can talk to immediate neighbors. Um, a lady came into my office telling me about it for two years. And finally, we got on it and we get a ton of business from nextdoor.com. You can mention things. It, it makes you prove that you're immediate neighbors by registering you with your credit card address. It doesn't swipe your card. It just verifies your address off your credit card or you don't want to give them your card. They can mail you a postcard with a code and then they know you live there. And um, so it, it only lets you talk to immediate neighbors and you can see helpful things on there like, you know, this guy with a, a red and black checkered shirt is knocking on doors, pretending he's with the gas company or, hey, I know this great property tax guy, Angelo, owns appealunfairpropertytax.com, doesn't charge a percentage, family owned, five stars everywhere. He posted this crazy video about Rogers Park getting their asses handed to him, and they are. Um, so please do spread the word. Facebook, great way to keep us ahead of all of those other 1,100 competitors. If you signed a contract, don't worry about it. Um, go to our website. Um, check this out. Um, on our homepage, you just go back over to um, more videos. Get Wiser videos. This mentions like, don't worry about unfinished basement. Unfinished basement is the biggest trick in Cook County. Most homes show, oh, that house shows a, uh, let me go back some. Uh, most homes show an unfinished basement right here. Biggest trick in Cook County. And we surveyed our customers about four years ago and 75% admitted they had a finished basement. And what they think is when they see this, oh, they don't know about my basement. You know, I did five years ago, even though I took permits, I know it's not in this square footage. Am I gonna go fight my property taxes with Angelo? Nope. I'm going to keep my mouth shut 
and I'm going under the radar. I'm afraid if I appeal, someone's going to come out to the house, come inside. They're going to see that I do have an air conditioner when it says no air conditioner, and uh, they're going to charge me. They can never come inside. It's against the law, and none of this crap matters. Basements are always free, even when they're finished. It's the wool over your eyes keeping you quiet. The descriptions were taken at construction. Most homes are 50 to 120 years old in Cook County, and they all have a little more or a lot more. Some people are afraid, oh, I got, it says one bathroom, and I've got three now, you know. It uh, doesn't matter. Call us, let us check. Um, so if you're happy with what you've seen here and you're in a rush, you can stop now. If you want to hang out a little bit, we're going to do a quick crash course, and I'm going to show you how I know that home's a senior, the guy who got a 200,000 raise, and I'm going to show you... Um, how to calculate what I'm most afraid of, which I call the double whammy. Chicago is going to get a nice load. The, the bill's going to drop significantly in July in a couple weeks because it's the 2020 bill. And in 2020, the county gave most homes um, COVID relief, COVID-19. Okay. And now what's going to happen is that's going to make the 2020 year lower than 19. March of 20. Uh, 21, I'm sorry, so 2020 taxes are coming down. The March bill will be low in March of 22, and then it's going to hit the July bill. Okay, the July of 22 is the 21, these new values. That's when they hit, and that's going to, it's, it's like you're coming down, and then you're going to go through the roof. So if you want to see how bad that's going to be, um, keep watching. Here we go. So this is the house, right? And I looked him up. He's a senior. Um, you could actually tell he's a senior by clicking down here, um, exemption history. All taxes are public record. So you're going to see his name in that here. It's not private. All taxes are public record. He's getting the homeowners and the seniors, okay? Um, if you recently, the, the assessor said, if you got it last year, you're going to get it automatically this year. Nothing for you to do. They didn't want to open up envelopes with coronavirus, you know, go figure. So, but also there's another website, cookcountypropertyinfo.com. This is where you can go to see your dollar history. Okay, the assessor site just shows assessment, doesn't show dollars because people would be pissed off if it did, you know, and more people would be informed. So um, the answers are a little buried, but they're not that hard to find. So here you go, cookcountypropertyinfo.com. And I'm going to put in his PIN number. You can also search by your address. If you search by your address, just know that it's the number only in this top box over here, house number, then the street name goes in the second box. Okay, don't put the street name in the top box or it won't work. Hit search. And then it comes up, boom. And usually there's a picture of the house. Okay, there it is. And right below it is a five-year history, okay? Now you'll notice these are all pretty similar and then this one is half. The most recent tax bill was the March bill, which is 55% of the year before total. So this is 55% of this, okay? So if you wanna follow along, jot this down. His 2019 taxes, oh, and by following this, you can also see how much you're gonna drop with COVID relief. Anybody in Chicago can find out how much the, it's gonna drop with COVID relief you know, on the next bill, okay? So here we go, 7143. And we're going to write 2019 next to that. And his value, if you scroll up, you're going to see assessed value history, okay, right here. Well, on the screen, we already see 2020. His assessed value is 35, uh, 37,598. Again, it's 10% of this number right here. Just take off the zero, and it's right here. When I click on this, I can see the, the years prior, okay? Now, if I write imaginary zeros here, I can see what they did to the value on his bill. He was 417,000 in the last two years. So in 19, he was at 417,000. And in 20, he came down to 375. That means his taxes are going to drop. So what do I do? Here's how you calculate your COVID savings. I take the 41,729 and I subtract the one just a little further up. The third in the corner there, top right, 37,598. 37,598, yep, 4131. Okay, then I just go back to um, the calculator. 
more I want to calculate increase or decrease it just calculates AV into dollars okay so in this case I'm gonna put this pin number in 10 whoops 10 25 310 038 and then the number from the calculator 4131 yes 4131 calculate okay I screwed up his pin number 10, 25, 310, 038, 1234. There it goes. $829 he's going to drop. Okay, so back to the money history. His taxes were this in 2019. In 2020, he got COVID relief. Um, again, I can see that under the assessed value right here. 2020 assessor confirms COVID. COVID-19 relief, okay? So, now we take 7143 and we're going to subtract the $800 that he's going to drop, 829, okay? Here we go. Calculator. 7143 minus 829 means his new taxes are 6314. That, now write that down, 6314 are going to be his 2020 taxes. Okay? Now, um, the thing is, um, he already made the first payment um, right next to, let me raise my calculator. So I'm trying to keep this on the screen. Right next to this seven over here, you see? 3929. Okay? So we're going to subtract the 39.29, okay? Which means his July bill will be only around, okay, we're gonna write July, which is the 2020 second installment, is gonna be 23.85. It's important for you to know the installment amounts, okay? 23.85, that'll be the, the, the difference. Now, now we're gonna back up a bit, okay? because that's the 2020 taxes, okay? And that's where he's gonna, his last payment's gonna be 2385. Now let's get into 21. 21, he's been raised to 570,000, remember? Um, it's not on this website yet, it's not here, okay? It's on the assessor's site, uh, right here. Showing the 375 is history, it's now this, okay? So this was a 3,800 increase. Um, and if you don't remember, let's just do it again real quick. I'll show you how easy it is. We take the 57,000 minus the old AV, 37,598. 19,402 to the savings calculator. Let me grab his pin number over here. Copy. Uh, I can just refresh the calculator. His pin number, 19,402. Yes. Okay. Uh, 3898. So remember, I said 2020 is now 63. 2020 is 6314. That's the 800 bucks it came down with COVID relief. Okay. Just to show you again, he was at the 7143, which is highlighted down here on the left. He came down 800 bucks with COVID, which brings him down to 63.14, okay? Now, um, we have to add to this 63.14, the 38.98 plus 38.98. His new taxes are now $10,200, okay? 2021 taxes are 10000 $212, okay? And now, remember this. If 2020, we got to back up a year now, is 6314, you can all, when you get a full year, you can predict what the March bill is going to be. It's going to be 55%. 55% of that is going to be $3,472. That's the first installment. Remember, the taxes are 10000 something. So the difference is going to have to come on the second bill. So remember that 3472, first installment. Let's go back and put the total taxes, 
212 minus the first installment, 3,472, means the rest will hit in July. 6740, July alone. Now here's a fun fact. The 2020 total taxes, <laughs> 6740, just July. His 2020 total taxes um, were 6314. So it's even higher than 2020 total, his one installment. And um, when the, like I said, when the bank sees it jump, $3,800, they just divide it by 12. So that's crazy. Um, that $6,700 is more than his 2017 total taxes also. Crazy. Uh, so it's going to be painful. Thank you for watching this far. Um, uh, if you do nothing, like I said, it's going to really, it's coming down and it's going gonna, it's gonna to slingshot back up. So you need to be on board. You need to be paying attention. Um, and if you don't want to, that's great. Um, we can actually file for you. We offered a premium service for the first time this year. Um, the industry is 60% lawyers, 40% consultants. If you ask me, consultants are better, not just because I'm a consultant, but because they only work on property taxes. A lot of lawyers fall back on property taxes when they have nothing else to do, when no one's broken their leg at you know the uh, supermarket, and then they f rely on property tax work. But um, on our website, um, there is this little white button here. You can click on it and jump down to the bottom and give us your information. We search it in 24 hours or call us. We can usually do it on the phone, Monday to Friday, nine to five. But do hit the videos page. Um, get wiser videos. Don't worry about the unfinished basement. Um, how Cook County tricks seniors. Um, a customer who thinks they didn't save with us. This goes to explain people who sign up in a reassessment year, a year later, a lot of them don't renew. And we had to call them and remind them, hey, you know, why didn't you renew? Oh, I didn't save anything. I still went up. I'm like, wait, wait. We softened the blow and we got to show them that. So we have a YouTube video on it. Um, you do want to like our YouTube channel, um, subscribe, We Chop Prop Taxes, a lot of helpful stuff here, a lot of happy customers. Um, some old ladies in Evanston were really pissed off. Um, uh, this was a senior citizen who couldn't make it to the office. I went to her house. Um, this lady over on the far right over here, straight up, uh, Filipino lady, she got $5,000 back, went to Vegas. Um, good stuff. Uh, over here, uh, that way, sorry, that way, uh, where the heck is my finger? Why can't I point to that? <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> what the heck? Way over there, the, the, the suit <laughs> with the tie. Um, Dirty Secrets of Your Property Tax Lawyer. You should check that one out. Um, and it's good stuff. Um, also, our Facebook group, Cook County Property Tax Watchdogs and Pissed Off Taxpayers. Type that into Facebook, search groups. It'll come up. Please join if you're a Cook County homeowner, okay? Um, back to our website, the very next thing you can do is... Um, the navigation is going to look a little different. I zoomed in here, but you'll see a sign me up button. Okay. Sign me up. Most common is our three-year package. Um, our clients pay 125 a year. 90% of them take the three-year package because it's 40% off right here. Um, it's 225. If you divide it by three, you're only spending 75 bucks a year. And um, we also added this premium service. This is an add-on to the one year or the three year. Okay. This allows us to file for you at the first agency, the assessor. And if you do that, you basically have four to six months off to the next agency, the Board of Review. Okay, there you will upload our file as normal. And um, round and round we go, okay? Um, the um, premium service is only $99. If you wait a day or two before your deadline, it's $150 so, um, for expedited service. So look forward to having you. Looking forward to you telling your neighbors, tell them to go check this video. Go look up their house on the assessor's site. Um, that's crazy. If you know this poor old guy, um, what's his name? His name is um, Peter Gorner. Please tell him to give us a call. Um, he's actually a senior citizen. You can see it here. Homeowner senior, you can click on it, but he's not on the freeze. So he went up. He's going to go through the roof. And that's hard if he's on Social Security to come up with $3,800 more per year. So um, it's like I said, it's, it's on the path to something very, very bad. But if you're here, you got to be fighting. And if you choose our company to help you do that, I greatly appreciate it. Angelo, appealunfairpropertytax.com. Get started. Thank you. Bye-bye.